Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. Today we're going to be making this fun card with the Spellbinders. Um, this is Parcel and Post Mailbox, um, a die set. There's 15 dies in here. I used every single one of them. If you picked up on that um, buy one get one sale that Spellbinders had, uh, this was on there. Uh, to either <clears throat> purchase it or then you know get per, um, or get it for free. I think it was that they did. You purchase the larger amount. I ordered something, and um, then the sh the smaller amount you got that for free. But I have to say, if you see right here, this was reduced at Hobby Lobby for fourteen ninety nine. This was part of my Hobby Lobby haul. I'm still working on that haul, and this is just too much fun. I'll put a link below because I am uh, an affiliate for Spellbinders, but I'll put a link below this video for this set if you would like to go ahead and and um, pick it up now. I did something different in here, of course, uh, than what is on here, okay? Let me show you those dies. Uh, those are some hot foil dies, and um, here's the Santa one right here. But of course, we're not going to use that. I'm going to make my own middle right there. We're making a Valentine mailbox today, guys. So much fun. But <clears throat> there are uh, plates, foil plates, and I think there's other ones uh, in uh, instead of this one too. You know, I think there's other ones that fit just the inside of this mailbox with this little shape right here. But I think that these are pretty cool sayings, you know, for when that time of the year comes around. Well, this is a thanks. Uh, I have to say, I don't like favorite human there. <laughs> I, I would like cut that off. I would like kindly deliver to my love. You know, that's, I, I have to say, I'm not all about favorite human, but I really like the other ones, and that was in the set. Again, on sale at Hobby Lobby, so I was really happy to pick this up. I'll probably be using this one even for next year. This mailbox is too stinking cute. Okay, then I'm using my little... Um, set here where I got the I wanted to test this out okay because this is a bow bunny um, stamp set from my Hobby Lobby haul $3.99 okay get all these stamps um, I use the little hearts I really love them but I wanted to see how the stamps you know kind of um, measured up to embossing and they embossed quite well okay for the teeny tiny stamp that it is I got a really good crisp embossing so I wanted to tell you that about that we'll be doing that with this card today <clears throat> okay so okay let's just talk about um, the size so I have just any kind of a red card base uh, that you have eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter the inside is a white piece of cardstock five, uh, four and a four and three quarter by three and a half and then the outside is white cardstock I'm using the Nina cardstock and coming out quite nicely and um, I use the time worn embossing folder on that <clears throat> and this piece is five and a quarter by four okay so and then um, just a envelope from Nina also now um, I think that's how you pronounce it let's go ahead and get some stamping done I'm just picking up this dark carnation right here you know what and actually um, no yeah I do want the dark I was gonna do maybe the medium but that might be too pink but I'm just going to stamp here on the inside of my card really quick so that we have <clears throat> our stamping completed. Excuse me. Okay, and I've just got Gina Kay's uh, dark carnation here. And these little hearts came in that little set. I like that one is solid and the other two are, or the other one is open. So that's what I want to put on the inside of the card. And let me, while I'm at it, let me get my pieces out of the way here. And I have this ink going on. Let's just get the envelope completed, and then we don't have to think about this anymore, right? I like to complete things as I craft. So I, oh, I hope you guys are having a nice day. It is snowing here. My daughter had a day off of work. And um, just because it was her day off, not because of the snow, it wasn't that much. But um, I was glad because my grandson, uh, the school was definitely out because it snowed in the mountains. I live uh, right at the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, actually, in a little town. Um, so here I just stamped the little envelope. And the inside of the card, we have that completed. 
Okay, and um, I was just saying, you know, how it snowed last night. Now it's supposed to clear up and then snow again on Thursday. I don't know. <clears throat> it's that time of the year, right? All right, now, uh, here's my card base. Let's go ahead and put the inside in here because, like I say, I like to complete things and get them out of the way. Now I know that my envelope and the inside of my card is completed because we have a little bit of work to do on the outside. I am using Gina Kay's Connect Glue and her little bottle, which I love. I like really like that fine tip bottle. Okay, so there's the inside of the card, and that's all we're going to do there. Now, the outside, I just did this time-worn embossing folder right here. This is a Stampin' Up! one, but you could use anything you want. You could use splatter, you could use stripes, you could do a little gold foil with some stripes. It would look great with that mailbox, actually. Um, but I just needed a little bit of texture back there, and we've done a lot of foiling here lately. You know, got to mix it up a little bit, right? And I love card making. You know I love card making. Down through here. I love this because I can really get it to the edges without it squishing out. And now I do, I did a lot on the inside because it's embossed. So it's like I always say, it's try, like trying to glue down an English muffin. So here's the outside just right there. That is perfect. Now, I've already cut everything that I need. I have some extras over here, too. And this is, I don't even know, um, it, they're stamping up. I don't even know what they're called because I just unbagged all of my embellishments and just put them in one little area. And But I'm using these little ones here. They're kind of like crystal and gold. They have the little red ones here, but I love the um, little sparkles of, of gold in there. So I'll be using that a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and attach our mailbox first, okay? So I die cut the mailbox, and like I said, I used every single die from the collection. Okay, so this uh, here's the mailbox. Okay, so I die cut that, and then it cuts out this little flap here, and you have like a little score line here. So I just kind of fold it a little bit. Okay, that is the inside of your mailbox, and that's so cute. I love that. Okay, then we have for the mailbox this piece right here, and this is like to create a shadow because look at this card here with the red mailbox, but then look at it here when I use a darker red on the sides and on that, um, that flap right there, right? Because it gives it dimension, it makes it look 3D. So this piece you'll want to cut out of a darker color of whatever color that you're using here. You might do a blue mailbox. You might do a yellow one. Just make sure that there are two different colors here, okay? And that's what this one's for. And then we have the, this is the one for the flap right here, okay? So you want to make sure that this is also out of that different color. Let's go ahead and put that together. So whatever color that you want. I mean, you might want a two-tone. You might want to do a white mailbox and do these in blue. That would look cute too, right? It's crafting. You could do whatever you want. Do whatever makes your eyes happy. Because then you always make good product, right? Let's place this here on the outside. And they give you this really nice score line. You can line everything up. I loved putting this mailbox together. It was really fun. Well, you know, if you follow me, um, I... Uh, and thank you all, <coughs> thank you all so much for subscribing and following me. I've got a little, I don't know what there. Um, whoops. And, <laughs> and that will happen constantly if you're a new viewer in this craft room. Things happen here, okay? And it's real, and it's me, and like I say to everybody, I'm 64 years old, so, and I just am retired, and I love to get on here and craft. Um... I just do a little bit of affiliate work like this for Spellbinder. You know why I got involved with this is because um, I found myself buying a, a lot of it just because I was that's what I was doing. I was like, oh, I need something else. I got into the hot foil. I got into the glimmer. I love the way that they're flowers. We're going to talk about that, how they layer. Look at how stinking cute that is. Oh, my gosh. Right? See, and then there you have your flap. Okay, now you could see that now your mailbox has dimension. Isn't that nice? 
So speaking of that, we're going to put some dimension around here, okay? So I'll just take some of these and um, go ahead and just place all kinds of and, and this is this is right like with any kind of a dimensional tape that you have use it all up all the way out to the edges let's see here I think I cut that one yeah see how that's gonna sit right there in that little foot I want one right back here in that little foot I have a little one right here See, I mean, I even cut these itty bitty, itty bitty pieces. That's even too thick. Let's go ahead and trim that. Just shave that down just a little bit. And I mean, you can cut these to like a micro, right? Just to give you that um, little bit of security that you need in a small piece like that, okay? And I'm just going to kind of bring these in and come across and Take some of these edges where they're flat here. So yeah, that's what's going on here today. It is, um, it was snowing. It was actually raining ice a little bit ago. Now let's see. Okay, yes, I do want to put just a little bit of one right up in there. And I think that's why I cut that. Yep. Because see, I might want to place flowers behind it and flowers inside of it. Just need a little bit of coverage there, not much. And I kind of want one right in the corner there. This one, I don't know if this this one might be too big. Oh no, that's going to fit. Yeah, that's going to be great. Yeah, just to hold that up. Then I kind of look on this side to make sure that I don't see any white sticking out. We are good. And I just take these little backs off. I actually did go to the store today. Normally when it's yucky out and cold, I'm like, well, I'll wait. But where my daughter was home with my grandson, I thought, well, this will be a good time just to go. And then I'm not rushed, you know, because I don't, um, I like to be really close to home if he is at home, you know, if he needs me or anything. So, and she's working. So that's kind of the way we work that out. All right, now I've got all of my backs, yes, sticky off. Good. All right, let's go ahead and place this on our card front. I want a little bit of the white showing at the bottom and kind of put this as best you can in the middle. I think that goes right about there, right? That look good? Yeah, that looks great. Okay, now... Let's put all of that aside. We'll get to all of that in just a moment. Um, all right, now what we want to do is do a little embossing. So it comes with um, this die that cuts the this little square out right here, which I think is a fantastic size, okay, for any card. So I think you would use this die, uh, you know, on many other projects. So I think it's really cute. So I just cut this out in white, and now... I'm going to go ahead and bring my stamp positioning device in. You use whatever stamp positioning device you have, okay? I put on top and bottom those stamps from that little bow bunny set that says, you are the best, that's up here, and Valentine, that's down here. I'm going to, I have just a little sticky mat here. This is a Cricut Joy sticky mat. Now they make sticky mats for these, you know, and it's like positioning devices. You might want to look into those if, you know, you wanted to. Oh, let me use my powder first. Let me de-static this, okay? Use your little embossing pal or whatever you've got there, your cornstarch in a baby boot, whatever, in a sock, just like that and then I'm going to put that right there on that sticky mat. See, now I don't have to use a magnet, although I could right there in the middle, which would not, probably wouldn't be a bad idea, right? Just to use it like that. Let's see. When we close, everything looks good, right? All right, let's get a little Versamark. Versamark is clear ink, and it's sticky and goopy, sticky and goopy ink. So I ink them both up. I close the door and press. And I'm going to do that a few times just to make sure 
that I get a good transfer of ink. And you don't want to mash too hard because then you make your um, stamp spread. So I hope I didn't do that. I'm getting, you know, I'm getting used to something different. Sometimes uh, photopolymer stamps can be um, like a little squishier, I found, than others. You know, their texture, that's what I should say, their texture is different. Okay, now I'm not going to touch top and bottom. I'm going to get this right here. Let me pull that over away. And I've got my embossing powder here. These are just crayon boxes. You can get them at Walmart. And these are um, ice cream spoons. Uh, I, can, I can put a link. You could get those on Amazon. You could get the crayon boxes too. I'm an affiliate for Amazon also. So just Amazon and Spellbinders I am an affiliate for. I appreciate them accepting me. <laughs> I was shocked at the spellbinders. I really was. I'll, I'll have to say that. So, here we go. Oop. <gasps> Did I touch it? No. Okay. Now that looks wonderful. Okay. Wait. A little bit darker maybe right here. Okay. Let's just tap that off. I love that. I think that looks fantastic. Okay. Now, I have learned to close the embossing powder guys because I'm telling you you're in a small area okay you can't help yourself so okay I dropped the heat gun you could use any heat tool that you have just heating that up and now I'm going to quickly get the tweezers <laughs> That was like, wow, that's hot. And then we just watched the magic of the embossing powder just melt. Makes it then look like gold paint. I love these little letters up here. You are the best. Let me show you. They came out crisp. I'm really happy with them. I have to admit that. Look at that. They did. I don't know. Ooh, don't let me blow my little... <laughs> my little um, objects all over the place there but if you can see that they did they came out nice and crisp I am going to heat this just a little bit more just to make sure we are melted nicely there we go like it okay now this little heart I remember it was a few videos ago um, I told you I love the little hearts in the give it a whirl from Stampin' Up. I love these dies in here. The little hearts and then they have clouds and they are stinking cute. I really don't use the card thing like the give it a whirl thing, but I love the hearts. This is one of them because look, it's stitched. So sweet, right? So let's put this here in the center. Just like that. So see, we didn't need really, you know, you if whatever you have maybe in your craft room, you know, you could make a um, a sentiment there, right? Just gonna hold that. Okay, now let's bring the card in, and let's go ahead and place this on the front, and I think it just looks so sticky cute with the gold and the red. It's like the mailbox is the present itself, right? Let me make sure I have this straight and kind of in the middle. It can go up a little bit if I can move it. I can't see behind the, I'm behind the camera so I can't see the score lines without getting my head right over top of it. So. <laughs> I gotta get it up in the light, good. Okay, right there, nice. Okay, perfect. All right, now, now let's go ahead and put the handle on the drawer. Now, watch this again. Look at how this has like no dimension to it, but the minute you put this on it, it's like wow, okay? I cut these out of just scrap um, gold I had hanging around and it already had adhesive sheet on the back of it. So that's what I have here, or you could use your fine tip glue, but I'm just going to peel this if it will let me. There we go, yes. 
and we're going to place this with these little knobs up. Just like that. Perfect. Now this is like where you pull it, you know. It's a little thicker there, you know, like it's a little round thing or something um, on the mailbox. They think of everything. The, the pay attention to detail um, on this is amazing. So very, very cute. And so then this goes right over top of that bottom bar and let those little knobs show and like a little bit of the a little bit of the um, handle there let that show a little bit because it's almost then gives it a 3d look like the handle and because you've got that darker card stock isn't that cute oh my goodness that's just cute okay now now we can go ahead and I have cut every, I've used every single die all right and I want to show you this Okay, in here, in this die, you have like a large and a small, okay, these little things for the flower. And then you have four little dots. I didn't use the little dots. Um, I, I liked it just the way that it came. I was almost like casing, um, copying the front of this mailbox right here you know as to placement just to get used to doing it and it came out so stinking cute but I didn't use those dots but I did use the red dots okay what I do like about this is that this this together okay you don't have three teeny tiny separate little dies okay that you so you know I mean it's a bigger it's a bigger die I like that also with the little berry here same thing front and back they are hooked together I love that the mailbox handle hooked together okay all the greenery is on here. You get um, two leaves, a little shoot, and a little shoot right here. Okay, so there's greenery on there. This one has its own because it's nice. It's a large enough size with the two little stems there. I'm going to use that. These are the five little red berries that I cut right here. This is the fl larger flower and smaller flower are in the same die. That is so wonderful. A little greenery here. Oh my gosh, the envelope. I wanted to show you this because this is like the reverse because I had to cut it twice to get the color that I wanted. I wanted a light gray envelope and a dark gray top. But So then you get this out of, of it. Okay, you get a dark gray envelope with a light gray top. And I mean, they come apart. Isn't this the cutest envelope? Like, there's no bulk from you having to fold it and score and fold and make an envelope okay there's absolutely no bulk and it is the sweetest little envelope what is this like an inch yeah it's like an inch yeah it's like an inch this way okay I just absolutely love this envelope so I just wanted to show you that but there's that and then we have the little flowers <clears throat> and again that those dies are together so I really like that um, it's just a little easier to keep up with, especially when you are doing all of this paper piecing. Okay, I happen to love puzzles, and so I love to paper piece. I, I've kind of figured that out. So we're going to move this aside. Let's just start moving our little flowers in here. And we'll just spend a little afternoon together here just crafting away and having fun with this set. This would have been, when I was putting this together, I thought if I ever did a live again, that this would be a good one to do it with, you know, because we could all be chit-chat talking while I'm sticking everything together. You never know. I have, um, my daughter has some tests coming up. Um, and I don't want to commit to anything until I kind of know what is going on there. So she's had trouble ever since she had, this is the one that has the three-year-old grandson. So she's been um, having trouble ever since she had him swelling. And uh, she keeps saying that her belly doesn't feel right. Finally, she finally got in with our local little doctor here in town um, who was schooled by his father who was just a 
you know, family physician. And um, so they're sending her, they found out that her liver is swollen. They are sending her for a um, biopsy. So I just, you know, I just kind of want to hang and wait and see what happens with her and everything, you know, before I commit to doing anything or diving deeper. I swore I was going to take the entire year off, but you know, when you make cards and you just love to do it, you just can't help yourself. Now here I cut this out. So anyway, that's what's going on in my life because you know, guys, I'm really transparent about what's going on in my life on here. I've always talked to you guys like that. Um, so here what I've done is I've cut a light blue piece of cardstock and a dark blue piece of cardstock. So I took my flower, I cut it twice, and now I'm just going to alternate my tops. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what's going on in life. And, you know, life happens. So luckily I am retired. And, you know, so for whatever that might have to be done or anything, you know, I can have the time. So that's good. Um, and, and maybe close to nothing, you know, so that's even better. Okay, so we, we don't know. So now I'm putting this little berry together. And then this little berry is going to go on the, um, this little uh, twig right here. Okay, ha let's go ahead and put one right here on the back. Put it on the back of here because you want the little green piece to show. It looks too cute. So that looks stinking adorable. I have the little light blue piece behind there and then the yellow and the green. Oh my goodness. I mean the layering that um, the layering that uh, Spellbinders comes up with is amazing. I really enjoy it. I'm going to do the same thing here with these mediums. I cut dark and light and then dark and light again and then switched up the color. And I did that with the large and the small. Which makes it really cool that <clears throat> the dyes are together because, um, you know, then you just like run it through one and you've got it. You've got both sides. You've got both colors. So I thought that was pretty neat too. Okay, so a little bit there on the outside. And then I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Ooh, that is a pretty flower. Okay, so look, look all the little flowers we made. <clears throat> Greenery stays the same. Let's put these two guys together and bring in this little green stem. So I'll just, I'll keep you guys informed whenever we know anything or you know. So that's not till in February. She has a liver biopsy in February. So, you know, that's kind of just a little scary to me, but, you know, <laughs> yeah. But it's, I, I mean, I, I think, I hope, you know, she's complained about being swollen and not feeling well ever since she had my grandson. But it's like nobody would listen to her. So then finally this doctor ordered a CT scan and bam, they found it. I mean, and that's it. And that CT scan and a blood test. Not like the other doctors weren't doing blood tests. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But at least we know now what, what's kind of the problem or what's not functioning properly to make a problem. Look at how cute that envelope is. Oh my goodness. Just for that envelope alone, this set is adorable. All right, let's bring the card in. We're ready to put everything together. And I didn't cut a second one of these for this card. I thought it was okay. It'd be okay. Um, so we might put another little leaf over there. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just going to start putting glue on here, and some's going to go behind the mailbox, but most of it is going to go like inside because it's the bouquet that is the present. Isn't that cute? I love it. 
and we're going to put this one And we're going to put, I'm going to put this one kind of toward the outside because then I'm going to bring in one of these flowers. And I, I'm going to just put a little bit, like a pop dot or whatever that you all call them. Uh, we, I have what's called here dimensionals. But anything that gives you a little bit of dimension there that's foamy and sticky. And I'm going to put it right there to hold down also those two um, leaves. Okay. Now then, in the middle of that flower, because I don't want to forget it, because I'm really bad about that. I want to put my embellishment right there. Oh, isn't that cute? Hmm. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get a dark green here. And I, I really leave a lot of this on top loose because it's supposed to look like, you know, that's your gift. That's your bouquet coming out of the mailbox. So that goes there. I really want it to stick not on the flap but on the card. Okay, because I want this to be with I want this to kind of be a little interactive there. This is so much fun. Okay, so, and you see I'm putting the glue toward the bottom of the stems. I'm really not gluing down the whole flower, okay? I'm just really gluing down the bottoms here. So I'm going to put this one in here and let it kind of overlap my greenery. Okay, then this one I'm going to put behind the mailbox. And this one I will glue down all the way. Put some glue out here on these little guys. We put our little red berries on so stinking cute and I'm gonna just put this in here and see that's why I only had one dimensional there I like that right there I'm just gonna let that stay perfect okay let's go ahead with uh, envelope see how I'm working my way across I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here well actually with the envelope I found a little bit of glue here on the red okay of the of the mailbox because you want to kind of stick your envelope in there sideways okay so you really kind of don't know where to put it on the bottom side of the envelope so I found it best to put it there on the red okay now this greenery the dark greenery again so I did light and dark greens and light and dark blues now if you wanted to on each and every one of these right here you could put a heart you could make just, you don't have to put flowers you could put a bouquet of hearts I think that would look really cute especially those heart, those stitched hearts from Give It A Whirl, right? And now I'm going to just stick this here and see how nicely it goes behind there because we have it popped up just a little bit. Now I'm going to put this flower in the front. I appreciate you all joining me today to put together this adorable card. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So I can get my finger in there. Hold it down just a second, right? There we go. Just like that. And I don't have another little double one over here, but that's okay. I've got some extras up here. I'll put this one down inside here. Doing this a little bit different. And then this one coming this way, okay? Then we'll put the flower. Here we go. Let's open that flap up just a little bit. Oh, I actually could put a little bit right there. See that marked it a little bit with the glue? Put it right there. And then I could just do that. Perfect. And then we'll get this little flower here. Give it a little dimension. and put that right here on the edge so like it's holding down that leaf see oh my goodness it's cute and let's put an embellishment right there and now on the heart 
right here. Oh my goodness. Is that not a cute little Valentine card? That is stinking adorable. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take a look at both of these. Let me clean my mess up over here, which I don't really have too much of one. But I used my, I'm still using my Hobby Lobby haul, my under $40 Hobby Lobby haul, okay? And how much fun is that together? That Look at those are so pretty, aren't they? I am so amazed. That came out adorable. A little bit of embossing here. We did a great job together, guys, today. I believe we did. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you next time.